hi guys if you're new here my name is naima welcome to another lessons video i haven't done one of these in about four months so that's kind of my bad i've just been really busy um <laughs> also i need to show you this before i forget vanilla sweet cream cold foam on top of a pink drink Ooh, it's so good i have been getting pink drinks since middle school it, they're just they're so good um my boyfriend's friend put me on this and that's our first update because it's been so long and i have so much to update you on i got a boyfriend i don't know i it it shocked me too guys i really was not expecting that um yeah he's great he loves the lord he is just so much fun very funny um <laughs> Um, that's for another video. Another thing is that we moved. We downsized apartments. We went from a three bedroom to a two bedroom in the same exact complex, but that took some time. Um, I also toured a college since the last time we talked. Um, it was Liberty University. Also, I became a lover of fanny packs since we last talked and I wish I like got it and I thought oh sure I'm gonna wear this sometimes, but no, no, no. I wear it all the time every single day um, I feel like those are like the big updates as of right now. I need to get a haircut. Oh my gosh If you're new here, these videos are meant to just be something super unfiltered where we can just talk where there's minimal editing and we can just talk about like what the Lord is doing and I share some of the things that God is teaching me um, in the month and just some moments and just what God is doing because um, I say this I think in every video that like it's so powerful when we get together and we are in community and fellowship and we share about what the Lord is doing because he is always working and we know that and we know that that is the truth but sometimes maybe it like doesn't seem like he's working or like we kind of get lost in the day-to-day -day life we become very nearsighted and so really pulling back and becoming reflective on like okay what is God teaching me and even like trying to get something out of every single season and every single day and moment and trying to extract like a lesson from everything I like it's so hot in here I can't breathe um it's really powerful okay it's really powerful and uh, it's so hot it just got hot for no reason so it's like 40 degrees still but like it's hot and so, oh so here are some pictures some fun things some moments and memories from the last month There's no pressure, it's not on video. Okay. Alright, let's go, come on. Practice swing. This one? Alright, you got this. So we're in sports mode right now. We. Um, yep, we're in sports mode. Cheers. In the house. His hairy arms, wow. No, he don't. <laughs> I a video. It's been a fun month. A lot has been going on. It's been extremely busy. So this month I'm definitely struggling to get into my Bible and make time for that and prioritize that. And just like I really have fall I have fallen away from rest and like making time to rest and enjoying just dwelling in God's presence because that's so powerful. So definitely like I feel I feel the tugs on my heart to be like resting and making time for God. So that's something we need to work on the, this next month. But okay, here are the lessons. There's not that many. I don't think this is going to be a super long video, but we'll see. I say that right now, but We'll see. Okay, so this is the first thing. I think this is fundamental. I'd love to make a whole separate video just on this thing. 
um, which is loving the Lord comes from understanding his goodness and understanding his character and understanding his nature because I just feel like a lot of the times we just feel like oh I don't know how to get closer to God I don't know how to deepen my relationship with God I don't know how to further grow in my love for the Lord like how do I do that literally when you understand what he has done and what he has done through Jesus it all makes sense it all clicks and that's why in proverbs i think proverbs is probably the book i've read in the bible the most times through just because i do a proverb a day and then if you read proverbs so much you'll start to like see how understanding insight wisdom and knowledge are things that pop up constantly look the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge proverbs 1 7 and it's like, it just comes up so many times. I'll, I'll put a picture right here of, cause when I was reading Proverbs, it felt like the Holy Spirit just like revealed this whole thing to me, just opened my eyes to this. And it was so, so wonderful because then I started connecting all of the dots. That's like, oh, you need understanding and insight and knowledge of the Lord. And that's how you grow in your love for him. And how do you start to hate your sin? And how do you cast that away? And how do you live truly for the Lord? Well, you have to love him, right? Because in John, let's go to John. First John 5. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God. And everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of him. By this, we know that we are that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome and so like like us loving God will make the commandments that and like the way that he calls us to live not be a burden but be a joy and so if you really want to like grow in your relationship with God or maybe you're just like beginning or maybe you feel like you don't really truly grasp God then it's just like reading the Bible and praying that he would reveal himself to you and just like that type of thing because when you understand who God is and also like how he led people in the old testament as well that's so powerful and just like as you grow in your knowledge of god i think you also grow in your love for god and that's powerful and that takes time also and so that's just like a huge lesson of like it, it was just kind of like a revelation to me because i feel like for so long i've been like seeking and seeking and sometimes it seems really mundane or sometimes I don't feel like I'm getting the full picture but then like you have those moments where it clicks and it's so special I just this is another kind of revelation moment where I was like that's so cool I want to share this I just it's so cool because God is really really intentional about everything and he gives us so many different types of love in this world to better understand his love for us so like we have the friendship love we have the romantic love we have the parental love and when you think about it all of it can help us better understand god's love for us next thing recently in these past couple of months i've been reading through isaiah and jeremiah i'm still not done with jeremiah right now but i'm on like jeremiah i'm in the 40s or something and i've been going through it super slow because it is just so incredible to me it's like every time i read it i'm just in awe of god and like really understanding in this season of my life that God is a redeemer and like he it's just so beautiful and that's like another thing recently I just could not I, I spent like two weeks I've never done that before spending two weeks just on one chapter where I felt like this was too good that I don't even want to move on um it's Jeremiah 31 and I'll just read you a little part and it says Thus says the Lord, the people who had survived the sword found grace in the wilderness. When Israel sought for rest, the Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Again, I will build you up and you shall be built. O virgin Israel, again you shall adorn yourself with tambourines and shall go forth in the dance of the merrymakers. And so when you read the Old Testament and a lot of it, and then you get to like, Jeremiah it's such a restoring moment because it's like yeah these people have been going in circles and circles and circles and constantly chosen sin over God and constantly made idols and then you have God being like 
I have loved you with an everlasting love and it's so special the whole chapter is amazing I really I think you should go and look into it okay if you're a girl and you're listening I need to put you on this podcast ready even if you're a guy honestly it's called wait what I don't even know what it's called <laughs> the true feminine yeah the true feminine podcast with Rachel okay she is just a joy like I could listen to her all day I wish I wish like I don't know what I wish, but she's so cool. It's about feminine energy and masculine energy. And she also looks at it through more of a Christian view. She's not, her audience is not all Christian, but she definitely like takes that perspective in and she'll say like, okay, I'm talking about Christians right now. And um, aside from that, even like the podcast is, is insanely interesting because you don't think about that like that how like everyone has masculine and feminine feminine energy and it's just i just could go on and on like if you're gonna listen to one episode listen to this one right here it's so good so eye-opening and um just displays how perfect god's creation is anyways she said one line that just stuck with me and it's like not even super original either but it's just give out of abundance and not scarcity and i just thought that was so good and at least for me how often I will just be extremely greedy or like even with my time um but that just one phrase is so so special two more bullets don't underestimate the power you have in a room to make someone feel welcome and comfortable there is no reason at all to withhold kindness I just think that if it's in your power to be kind and to invite someone in then that's beautiful because I have definitely been outside of that circle. I'm talking figuratively right now, okay? I've definitely been someone who's been left out of the circle or someone who has felt like she doesn't belong in a group or like it just sucks being that person, guys. Like it like it's terrible to feel like no one's acknowledging your presence and whatever it's just not a good feeling you want to be around people who see you who hear you who make you feel welcome and like I think a lot of the times we don't realize how much power we have in that regard like just talking to someone like a simple compliment like it's so easy and we need more of that so that's all I'm gonna say Okay, another thing. Don't let the fear of being a disappointment to different people in your lives drive your life or, like, guide your steps. I think that's something personal and vulnerable from me. Um, and I think you just have to live how God wants you to live. And you're bound to disappoint people. And you're bound to... Not, not everyone's going to agree with the way you do things. And you just have to really make sure you're doing things for God and not so that someone will be proud of you or that someone will do something, like, acknowledge something. Um, yeah, so that's something huge. And I definitely think that I'm in, right now at least, where I'm at in this moment right now, I feel like there's a lot going on. And my heart is definitely a hardened towards some things. And I feel like the next lessons video, we're really going to take it home. Because right now, I feel like there's still a lot of work to be done. Um, and I want to tell you, but I want to tell you with a lesson coming out of it. Because that's so cool. But, yeah, those are my lessons for this month. God is definitely working. And it's hard work, guys. Um, I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video, something new... Um, also is that I started therapy and it's not a Christian therapist but it's really cool and I think that it's actually really helping me um, so yeah I hope that you have an amazing day and that you could be encouraged and if you want comment like something that God's teaching you if you want more of these videos comment um, give this video a like and yeah so yeah have an amazing day sorry I don't post anymore it's really hard to keep up with this channel. Right, Jesus loves you. Have a good day. Oh my, my camera is so hot. Wow. You're so hot. <laughs>